Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, a special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course, the centerpiece is the former two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proven ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building uh -huh. than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. Uh -huh. And it's all for the notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country put it on his back and rode it to superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of Nine wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hamzat Bors Chibaya! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Well placed kick there by Connor. He is all about that left kick to the body. Head kick. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happened that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? 25 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Take him down, cut Take him down, cut Over and over. Now he's going to attack the triangle choke here. Posturing up now. Nicely done. Again, you gotta like that. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice slip and counter there by Connor. Nice combination there by Connor. Pretty good job to find the striking range there. Connor is one of the best strikers in the UFC, and it's all the this might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook. He lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, take down the tip after take down. He jumps on a headlock. We call this. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally, probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill. On the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two is underway. to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Certainly buckled him earlier in the fight. He knows he's... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this fight. Beautiful movement. Hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Back to the feet. Oh, massive kick. Lands flush. Had him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Oh, McGregor's head kick is blocked. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high cross. Oh, oh. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or did no, I read my John, last round? Absolutely rights? not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Alright, 
So another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out to space, find places to rest and recover. Get against the opposite, go to the clinch, find ways to just get an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control. He's got a ton of options. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this now, listen, fight. You probably lost that round. The only reason we lost it is because you're waiting on him. I need you to be... You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Nice hook. DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Another big thing now. using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. McGregor's strike attempt there is blocked. Leg kick. <laughs> Another leg kick lands. Pretty good strike there, but not a ton of meat on the bone. Kind of looks like me at the Boca Raton Boxing <laughs> District. He's used every... Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Big kick lands. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. You got to check these low leg Big shots being landed on both sides here. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. He blocks the punch. Look at him whip his hip to that Oh! Huge right hand! What a fight so far. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, 
His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Checks the leg kick. Single collar tie now. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. What is what? A takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh! Oh! It's up. He got it! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is calling stop to this contest at one minute, 19 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Hobbs and Bors All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.